Today I am going to demonstrate the use of Handbrake. Handbrake is a tool for converting videos from nearly any format to a selection of modern widely supported codecs. So let's get started. First of all, open the Handbrake from the taskbar. We will see the Handbrake window along with the different features enabled. Let me take an example for this. I'm going to convert to a video. So let's get started. First of all, go to the source, select the file you want to convert. You can see the source successfully added, having different options displayed like chapters or the angle or the title or the duration. You can also give the destination path like I'm giving demo for now and selecting the desktop for the same. Now the path is added. You can also set the output settings like the container option. We have two options here, either it's MP4 or MKV. In MP4, we have two checkbox like Web Optimize and iPod 5G support. And if you select the MKV, these two options disabled. So let me go with MP4 first. I'm selecting the Web Optimize option. Now moving to the next, we have different options like picture, filters, video, audio, subtitles and chapters. I'm going to the video. Selecting the codec I want to use. I'm using this for default. You can select the frames. Let me take 5 for now. You can select the different checkbox option like constant frame rate or peak frame rate. I can also optimize video by changing the option displayed. So let me make the video with these settings. In order to start compressing the video, go to the start and click it. You can see in the bottom the video compressor is started. Meanwhile the video is compressing, let me show you the other presets. On the right pane we have different presets like we have devices, different devices and the settings will change accordingly like if I select windows phone, the frame rate and other things change. If I select normal then the frame rate video codec changes, if I select high profile the preset value changes, it becomes high profile. So we can also add different presets like add, we can remove them and other options as well. Now we can see the video successfully compressed. Go to the desired location and check the video size. You can see the video size is 40 MB now. Let's go back to the original video. The original video size is 74.4 MB. So that's how handbrake works and we can also make changes as for the requirements. Thank you for watching video and hope you enjoyed the video.